resources you put in more from the more of your team fight alts the team that i think looked the best over the last 10 days or so action yeah. will take place i assume so uh, we should probably be focusing on that as there's a lot of kill potential from the beastmaster techies lane and everybody else in the bottom lane with four heroes that want to just be aggressive on top of one another use their spells to uh, to win the lanes uh, like we said, mid, mid should hopefully be a wash for uh, both mid laners. But yeah, top Ulu keeps getting righted by this uh, techie. And the more levels the main does, the more he can up. Now bottom is actually where the Snapfire will get collected by the Insanity plus CML. Hitting level 2. Getting in top of the Well, but there's gonna be a bit of a pursuit. Level 1, Snapfire, pretty weak. But there's a lot of space created right now from the Snapfire. The Blood Grenade will fly in from CML. The Xanity forced it to be back to lane. I think, I think the reason why Execration commit that hard, they know that Kev doesn't have a TP if had this advantage. But life and death level 4 on Kanka. Who is that He's up got... Oh. Is he? No. They, 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 they stopped pursuing for some reason. Tino, you could have, like, kept chasing. You had everything you needed. There was uh, one right click away. He was Nightmares though, I think. I think that was onto Shanks, wasn't it? Tino just took uh, the Nightmare away to protect Shanks from the right click. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, I think... Ooh. Oh, Bottom 999. Sorry, oh. sorry, Blake. There's actually left, right and center happening right now. As uh, Kanka will actually try to survive. Nice Torin for zoning himself out. But please, do finish your idea. Uh, my idea is that the bottom lane for Kenny. Well, oh, that's, that's the problem. I think Snapfire is one of the like weirdest designed heroes in Dota. It's like the attack range is not very long. Scatter Blast wants you to be point blank with people. Cookie wants you to be like a medium arranged amount away from people. Little Shredder's in between that. And then for some reason you have Kisses, which is like I, I, you become a team for artillery. Like it doesn't make any sense. Wow, butterfly effect. Uh, pushed in a mid lane by the two supports. Uh, three minutes six, that's why he got called by support. Oh, but they're gonna rotate butterfly effect top tanks. Likely dead here. Well, they really, you know, really wants to get this kill first, but we have 999 coming in. And Blast off trying as well. Snowball is gonna be a four versus three. They have the player advantage for the dire. Now, CML has to make some space, allow Shanks to maybe deny himself. But Shanks doesn't even want to do that. Shanks actually shows himself with the sticky bomb, and I think CML will soon die. Yep, that's gonna be two for Kev, and now Shanks will finally deny himself. Meanwhile, Luis didn't have the dragon form, so the pressure he dealt in a mid time. <laughs> Got a, got a little too real, but like, what is he gonna do? He's top of the CS for his team, but like, he's got level six. He's gonna, he can probably make a rotation with the boat. I don't know if Lewis is really the kill threat that you have. I think that's gonna be the target for Kev, though. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of damage coming. Snowball will buy yourself some time, but it's only gonna set up for the ghost ship to get a double kill as the Kanka prevails. Okay, so life and death is gonna get a double kill. That's we got we got the gonna get that orchid, but this top tower is under a lot of threat right now. This is a proper siege. Oh, they've got tools, they need to defend, they've got Kronos, gonna go for it. Ulu connects onto two, we do not have the kisses, but our butterfly effect is gonna pop the die bullet, and it's just slightly outside of the engine now. Undyne, Snowball is gonna go for a few players, and it's gonna another kill. Double actually is going in the favor of Kev. One for the Kanka, one for the Lex, who's about to get his level 8 on the techies. Uh, what are you doing? You get Orchid? He's gonna die, most certainly. I mean, he does have Snowball in one second, but where are you gonna go? To the hands of 999? That's still gonna be death for you. That butterfly effect has plenty of magic damage and cure uh, where that came from. Uh, Mikael up top, I like, uh, she's also been involved in a lot of the kills, if, even if she dies, right? Uh, like, look at it, uh, this is gonna happen again. She's plus Tino up top, gonna actually miss the scatter blast. And Tino will most certainly uh, turn around with her more, but uh, with Aiden, Sanity has the axe and is ready to party as Undyne. Don't worry, Laura, will actually be caught in the corners here, but first kill will go as Tino will fall snowball. Will respond, and now no big on the gyrocopter alone, but Luis might be going up, but he will in the end fall to the damage of the lightning strikes and the pulse nova. Hasted Lash Rack running at the dragon, and he will get a triple kill for butterfly effect. Double for Ulu's faceless void, and it's a full team wipe.
So they're at their weakest and execration have to make plays. They're gonna go on the Roche pit. I think Aegis on Execration is going to be absolutely necessary during the mid game in order to even think about things by the Darkhawk now that he's died this time. There's no gold, there's no gold ship, but there is a gold ship available. And they are smoked up. They're actually taking quite a long time to smoke everybody up. So Shan below 20% HP. Will fall as Kev wasted a long time. There's been Zanik who will get his. And now they can actually oh, fight. Oh, fight. They look close here. And Marcus Lewis is part of as well. Got to get fight. But look at the AoE damage. The gold ship connects. And that's going to be two cores down. And the is lost. Gyrocopter, is there anything else you can do? Shan's just to keep back to base, but no. Insanity alone, one versus four, will completely get taken out, and it's gonna be another five kills going in the favor of Kev, who is now looking in prime position to collect Tino. Look at the TPs to the Twin Gate. Can Undyne get close enough? Does have the Fiend's grip? You're getting caught out here, and if he dies here, it's it might be game. It's game. It, it, it probably is. But OCML is actually gonna try to sacrifice himself again. Is that he will show himself in the lane? No, it was not lucky. It was a very good calculation. What a reaction! Ulu pops BKB and Coral Spear, and oh, he was so close to getting his BKB, but he's not doesn't have it. He doesn't have the buyback. But you know what? Butterfly has instead three mega creeps. That's impressive. Three yeah, that's creeps. actually really. You know what? That's a skill. That's crazy that Dota thinks there's literally no way Execration can go back. I mean, it, it's Dota. There is definitely like, some world out there out of a million possibilities where Execration comes back. It's off the back of the fight. No more HP, Tino pops the floor a bit late, right? To be away in the middle of five heroes, and it's kind of the HP out. 29 minutes, 39 seconds, Kev came into play, and you said it, Kev defeated Execration once in the beginning of the tournament, now he's starting off with a victory at the beginning of the playoffs. I mean, it's not entirely on who is ahead of who. Primal Beast just uh, uh, jumps on top of you. Level 1 point in the Nature's Attendance, just right-clicking on Dine. Uh, we've seen this earlier today, I believe, from IHC, and now Shanks is slightly overstepping, has to be able but I think one more fear swipe will do it, and we have the beautiful Earth Structure repositioning. No trade kill as Tino will not get Crystal Maiden back. I'm actually not sure why Tino didn't die from dying there. I mean, one building death would have gotten next. Uh, uh, it's not looking good so far. Uh, it's looking like no. Well, again, okay, like the Dragon Knight, similarly, Sniper is quite a, a easy hero to execute. And we were talking earlier today with Crash. Uh, okay, I'm dying. Uh, down bottom. Actually, Ulu gonna trade the kill. Shanks, one more right click will do it. Fairy Fire, actually, making Ulu to waste, like, a second and a half longer. But in the end, it's gonna be a one for one And we were talking about ease of execution, right? And you gotta say, yeah. execration for the most part. Like, they got a DK Sniper. It's not the hardest. Damage. Yeah, I really think the Hurricane Pike is uh, definitely needed when you're playing versus the lineup that we see outside of Execration. You know what I wouldn't hate seeing? I would what? not hate seeing a Orchid on the Shadow Fiend. You get the attack speed, you get a bit of the region, it's not that expensive. Uh, of course, not as a first item, but maybe as a second item. Uh, or maybe, wh why not first? Punish the Timber Saw even more, put the foot on his neck. As Butterfly Effect is about to actually deal with receiving that, uh, someone stepping on his neck. With great little bit of CML, tries to turn around with a couple Shadow Raises, but Shanks will be fine as he gets protected a lot. Thanks, Edict, and Lewis will claim the last hit. Yeah, such a nice. I'm I'm a really big fan of Oracle in this game. There's so much that if he doesn't yeah. get a grenade, he will just die to the Orsa plus the uh, Primal Beast. I'm just wondering if he gets it as the second or third item. Uh, as he's now getting actually go behind the tower and he doesn't have a way to position himself. Oracle will sacrifice everything, but in the end, now he's gonna get the trade on the Shadow Team. The Lewis will actually fall as well. So Static Storm coming, kinetic fielding cooldown. His enemy tries to get out of the range. It's still alive for a while longer, buying time as they get the kill, trade onto the Disruptor, but they want to get more, and now, six more seconds into the Oracle is back, and look at, oh my goodness, life and death, pulverizing, and the Timber Saw, and now the burst damage was pretty, pretty significant, but it will not be enough, 4-2 four, four going to the side, life and death holding on to that pulverize, just at the very tail end, looking for a little bit more, and 
That, I think that was CML didn't TP the, to the correct spot. It got twice. It, it is not twice as hard for Ulu to position himself now with that um, blink dagger on Ursa. And um, as uh, yeah, that was very very weird positioning from the Radiant side. I'm not surprised Shanks got caught by surprise, I'll be honest. You don't expect the Disruptor just so chill in the uh, jungle to glimpse you back into absolutely yeah. anything. And uh, False Promise is a really long cooldown, a level one. Uh, one of the reasons why Oracle is not played as much as the Undying Fusion or sacrifice himself to Lewis. Again, this sniper is lower net worth than the rest of the course, but he's still a sniper. And now 999 will join Double kill. Undyne in the afterlife. I don't know why. Step from the supports, yeah. Yeah, Kevin just like walking forward with no supports. Or I mean with no support. Like the, the sniper offers a little bit to slow from Shotmo, but dude, it's basically nothing. CML has a root for like a second, maybe. I think the Agony Scepter is half of the crack control from execration and then it's underneath the power. power. Force promise, that's fine, you still have an Aegis. I mean, who's gonna be a beautiful status on in the back line coming into 999 now? Both rise on top of the freezing field, and that's gonna be both supports falling. And now the carry will follow this energy is out. Oh, it's gonna be support back and now. Butterfly to grant the dodge. Beautiful gonna come in time as predicted and now it's gonna die and look Whoa. at the double timber chain. Whirl of death taking support out the Aegis is gone. Ulu does not have an enrage. And look at the strength of the sniper. Kept yeah, being protected now. Actually, we're gonna have life and death. But Ulu turned around, bash on the timber. So life and death cannot make anything happen. And despite <laughs> what was a phenomenal jump from Shadow Blade, like invisibility at this bracket isn't survivability. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's it's you need silver edge because he's a great DK and uh, yeah, but as we have a hell of a fight in the river right now. I mean, Tino is gonna probably be protected by this first promise as he turns in onto Undyne with Pop to the ultimate. We have life and death gonna be pulled in by means to root, but finally we get the Arsa getting some right clicks in. You now want to focus Shanks, Kulu. You need to go on to someone else like Lewis, who is literally a meter away from me. Please, please. Okay, Lewis getting a kinetic field, reposition with the concussive grenade, and now Ulu, no more ultimate, no more BKB. And I I think the sniper is about to go to town, assassinate, flying in, blink away, stole a creep, and look at them. They can just claim this tier 3, no more 45 for that. We will have another set of 40s for the racks. The butterfly effect, ooh, nice manta. Kind of surviving though, it could have been very dangerous, actually dispelling the dragon tail. And look at Nine just jumping into Assassinate for the end of his life. And now, very team fight. We have Life and Death trying to catch Tino, but there's no damage coming in. Ulu in the back line gets CML. And now, there's his focus onto the team or so. One more bash will do it, and it will connect Lewis with the grenade and the AD. Now, it's gonna be a while longer. No, Lewis this, uh, jumps away, but Albert doing such a good job, not allowing Lewis to deal damage. Now, Butterfly Effect tries to line up for the record of but gets Dragon Tail, and now. Hurricane Pike away, Hurricane Pike forward, and now Ulu, no more BKB, and the Requiem comes through. A couple raises to secure the kill, and now Shanks tries to do some damage, killing the butterfly effect, but pulverizes off the cooldown plate, and I think we might just be looking to turn around as Shanks will fall. It's away, and it will be safe. Final Beast canceled his own onslaught becomes an empty hero. It's basically A and we do. Is, uh, dead. Mm, what? That's not that dead now. We've got some spin on us. I thought we might, we might be lucky enough. But in the end, um, he also fully bought. He just got buyback before the previous fight, and I think he bought right. out. So he does not have buyback now. Uh, what did he didn't buy take out for? Okay, that was scary for a split second. He's gone for a walk. He's, he's, his legs hurt. Luckily, the Zanity had his Blink Dagger in cooldown, because otherwise that could have been like really, really scary. Okay, um, well, there's, not... there's Egg and M Scepter on the Ursa now from that Roshan, so he, his survivability has been heightened by a lot. Also, level 25 on the Ursa, but they're full committing on the Zanity. Look at the damage. This 
protected by the Fates Edict and the magic damage is not coming through. Now we have life and them having to run away, but there is no damage for anybody on the side of Execration and Ooh, he's about to lose the Aegis and he will pull. No, still alive. Glimmer takes a while longer, but 999 will get punished for saving his core. PKP, Satanic turned around and now the DK is food. Turning around with Lewis, realizing he needs to get more, but now the missile comes in, X out from Pino. By himself, trying to disperse her. He's still chasing. It's got to be a double kill going in the back line. And now, look at the buyback pulverized coming in from life and death, sending the timber soul to the ground. Lewis, right to the high ground. Now, using the grenades to get away and finally killing the Ursa's Aegis. And now, Lewis, you need to run away one second until you can go and give you the trick to float. Assassin is going to come in time, but the dust will be there from Ulu, who was prepared to get the kill on the godlike streak. Ursa, 21 and 2. They take it, they're underneath the ward. No, no back never mind. Special. Jumping in, he's gonna go for it, he's trying to get one, and oh my goodness, 999, he's gonna pop in the static storm, it's only that gonna be enchanted, but meanwhile, your Timber Soul is about to be killed, as the BKB, as the Abyssal comes in, and the nice silver is he's gonna connect, as the Vidak on the Timber Soul. Assassinate on the low ground, you're playing at a disadvantage right now, you're just on the sniper's territory, and you realize that can't go away, but look at Shanks. Wants to go forward, can he enchant someone? Does have the gem, the Glimmer Cape is trying to protect Undyne for a while longer. Look at the Arsa though! Uh, he gets caught by surprise, has to use the BKB. No, he's gonna be a disperser to dispel all of the slows and run very, very fast. Really back with the tail between his legs. Does, does an Ursa have a tail? He does. It, bears do have tails, they're like a little bushy. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're oh, is it long cool. enough to fit between his legs? Uh, no, definitely not. But maybe on this skin it is. Uh, we haven't talked about life and death, so uh, Agnims, I think he's had it for a uh, Outdoors, it's uh, amazing. Ulu is uh, also amazing. Jumping in, full come in onto Shanks. Shanks gets placed back in, and now look at the pulverized connecting onto four heroes. It's on top of the sniper, can we get a save? No, we cannot. The post promise was used onto Shanks, and now the Timber Soul will die back. Unbelievable. Undyne is exploding. A lot of damage coming in from the insanity. Requiem of Souls flying in as well. Do we need to get the gem from the ground. It's still on the floor. We have a buyback from the crystal maiden and now butterfly effect has to use the satanic and now tries to spell himself away. So meanwhile, Ursa tries to get the kill onto Blackline, but look at the primal beast doing a lot of good job. This is a very strict team fight and so far Kev seems to be on top of it as Lewis realizes we gotta cut our losses. Let me give you back to base. And and I mean that just comes from Kev. They're like, you know what? You know what? Manta is getting quite shut down by these, all these Dagons and the Glimpses. So yeah. maybe Manta might be there. Right, right, right here. Uh, as he is pretty much Dragon Form all the time, so the Hurricane Fight gives him a bit of extra. Uh, Execration. They can't let CML be the target. They find Lewis! Good job. They don't want him, though. Okay. Beautiful jumping, and now Lewis will most probably die as there is no Oracle, and he got thrown up, and that's going to be a perfect wrecking assault on top of the Static Storm, and that's what we wanted to see. Also, the uproar doing is really far away, but he doesn't have any reposition tools. He's, he has no money. He needs like a blink dagger or something to be able to position like that, and now the tower is starting to fall. Kev might have just done it. Well, I think they want to sacrifice them uh, before uh, forcing the buybacks. I think we'll have the max attacks, that's fine. We have a lot of pulverized damage coming in for the Timber Soft. We'll pop the Hex. Timber Chain, BKB has the Wind Waker available in the big event in one second. He's just buying a lot of time. This is great for Timo, and now it's going to bring even further down south. Timber Chain will not connect, though! And that's going to be a mistake that's going to cost his life. So you saved your Sniper's buyback, but you will probably have to use yours. I think that's worth it for, for Tino. So you're basically exchanging one for one. Now, he didn't really have to die there. He could have used the BKB and stuff. I'm wondering if Kev are going to wait for the 60 minutes or if they're just going to go high ground. I don't think you want to waste the 60 minutes. They're not. They're just going in. And I think will stop the pulverizer. Look at the damage from the sniper with the KK doing a lot of good work. And now they are buyback coming in from the timber. So butterfly effect is melting. And look at you know jumping and hacking. And the primal beast is no more. When Waker for the crystal made it. Anyway, it will not be used as she will also fall in execration. Oh, look at the beautiful win. Sending the insanity away. Can we get all away? I think this should be fine. Timber Soul gets pursued, but uh, sorry, keeps pursuing, but will not find anybody else. Okay, bit of a you know, bit of a sloppy engagement from from Kev there. They don't fully commit. 
uh, they kind of bet they make the call to back off because they're diving a tier three tower, and now they're gonna lose Roshan. That's an Agon Scepter, I believe, on the road. I can't. Tino I think it. it's Tino. It's yeah. of course. I mean, reactive armor. It's gonna make him even tankier now that he again fly back. So hoping that would be what they need. As it's pretty good for something. I don't know what that something is. Okay, mega creeps. It's been it's Yeah, they want megas. Matter. Uh, not. I mean, megas always matter in my opinion. It's just because you don't need to worry about the waves, right? Like they're always gonna get pushed out. Jumping in. Static storm. It's on top of the sniper. The sniper does get to do something up here, you know, but. But this is still an Aegis. We will die with the false promise will expire. But you don't have a second life. Look at the damage. You know, there's not have a buyback in the office. Pop the wind waker. Using all the high ground and using the cheat. And now look at the damage coming in. It's going back and forth. The Lewis is coming on top of this exchange. The primal is gone. No buyback. He's still made the fall. A buyback. A lot of them, but look at the jumping from the Ursa. Wind Waker, reposition on the high ground. Ooh, alone between five heroes. Needs the help of the team, but nobody is there. 999 is actually destructed rightly by Shank. And on this, available. And now jumping in again. Trying to get the lead as Tino still on his side. Both bombs off. Ooh, now saving the attack. He's jumping on top of Ooh and Andai. But the Crack Knight is dying to the shadow of the right wing. He's still alive. Lives, not the fat boss. Ursa is dead. Lost. Jumping in. Once you get double, find that. Where is Nurse? You need to go into Lewis, but he's protected by invisibility. And the madness continues. Static Storm on top of this Oracle, and now Ulu finally gets the kill onto another port. Insanity gets taken out. Timber saw no up against the wall, and their ancient might be the target of a death here. And jumping on the disruptor, Aeon Disc gets popped and now instant turn around with Static Storm and the Pulverize. Trying to deal a lot of damage, False Bomb is coming to protect the Dragonite and now they're focusing on the Shanks. They want to get out the best key and chances, but look at the survivability. Another refreshed Pulverize. This Dragonite is still alive. Hyphen uh, Death tries to get on them, but he cannot reach anybody. Look at Ulu and the front line going in on top of two of them. But no, he's just melting. The Stinger Death Legend does so much damage and the Arsa. Can you have survived? You cannot. No buyback for two minutes, and she is down and out for the count. Execration, five versus three. Assassinate flying in, another one falls in. 65 minutes, Execration takes us to a game number three. They cannot believe the comeback that we just witnessed. Execration put the... They did, oh man, they did everything right. And I have to, Wax, and I have to give the MVP to see him. That's exactly what I was thinking. And anything? Oh, maybe not close to level three, but he'll be level two and a quarter, probably. Yeah, he'll be having a great time. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, bottom, I think there's a lot of kill potential coming in from the Doom Plus 999's Phoenix. As we see CML already struggling. Uh, Xanity also has the possibility to chase if he wants to commit a uh, time walk. Versus the Secret Dive, and he will do just that. 999, pop the stick. But the Gale is kind of slowing down enough, gets under the tower, but not enough, and the Xanity gets the first blood traded up top instantly. Uh, uh, so he is very tanky. We're Shanks is... more and more of that. Like people yeah, just buying uh, three branches as oh uh, yeah, wait, it's a Dark Willow dying. Yeah. Not not the biggest uh, not the biggest lock. You could have just you could just have Doom mid instead, and then like because it the the matchup into puck doesn't matter as much, right? Like, yeah, I'm not sure if the timber saw really is gonna have like an omega amount of impact in this game. I think the only thing that it's gonna do is put a lot of pressure out onto like the Dark Willow Dragon Knight, but and maybe Venomancer, but wow, Venomancer. Uh, speed, they're both uh, the Doom and the Void are level 4. So, yeah, 999 is not having the best time, but I think it's a Phoenix level 3 minute 6, not not the worst he could have been at uh, looking. No, it could, it could be a little worse than they bring Undyne yeah. bottom too, so... Yeah, Undyne's gonna come in, gonna get Limbs in, Fire Spirits, Blood Grenade, and that's gonna secure the kill for the Dire, and now Undyne... You play with his life. Do we have any rotates from more region kills? No, we don't. Oh. We've got a rotate from butterfly effect that comes in flying in with the team chain and with Chakram. And yeah, the, the lane was going good for you up until this point. 
Yeah, no, really nice rotation from, from Kev. They bring in as many heroes as is required. You, we often see a lot of teams over rotate to get once the gleams back, kinetic field. Yeah. It'll be up to it'll be up to both of these heroes to make plays happen. And man, there is definitely play happening. Jumps forward, gonna pop the coil onto the disruptor. Disruptor does have a fairy fire and a stick, but will break the coil a bit early and will not be able to get that extra bit of heal. And Lewis will also claim the arcane rune. Get that extra bit of heal. And Lewis will also claim the arcane rune. So uh, now heading towards the stacks, but butterfly effect is nearby and he's about to spot a big chunk of stacks over there. Now dark below and the venomancer butterfly effect trying to steal as much as possible in the end. He might have to pay with his life, timber chain away, but he did get quite a few of those last hits. He got it. Yeah, he did get a bit of those. He's gonna be there trying to contest, and they will be lucky. It's gonna be a skill rune, and I think Shax is gonna just die here as oh. one guy throws a blind grenade. Um, he needs a glimpse. No vision on the high ground. Coil will be used only on the disruptor. Those are some big ultimates used for a position fight disruptor. 20 seconds without uh, this disruptor on the map, but. I think the Disruptor is kind of feeling what the 999 had to deal with all of last game. They caught a top. Insanity with a beautiful rotate, not expected. Not enough time to pop the battle pass as we have a nice Dragon Tail following up with the Doom. From life and death will secure them the kill. Meanwhile, the Insanity says, I'm gonna go back far bottom. See you later, yeah, alligator. <laughs> bye bye. Before. We'll see if he goes through with completing it now, or maybe he's gonna go Maelstrom and get it later. But the Insanity bottom. Um, he's about to also get ganked by Ulu as um, uh, Life and Death throws an Infernal Blade that slows from the Whirling Axis will come in. And yes, Undyne dies somewhere else across the map. Ooh, the Egg and the Battle Trance. Okay, a lot of commit here. The boy will die. Lewis pops the Coil and has to disengage with the Illusory Orb. But look at the combination. Terrorize plus Coil. Only gonna connect onto the Doombringer. Can the Doom stay alive? Has the Lotus. Pops it up and look at Ulu turning around. Shadow Realm and the puck goes forward as Lewis claims the kill. But look at Butterfly Effect gonna be joining up with the rest of his squad. Lewis very low in mana but has an illusory all, all the way out. Timber chain in one second. And I think Lewis should be safe. Yeah. Hey, he's fine. That's I'm a more... fair point. I think, I think the threat of Chrono's Fear and big, big pieces of utility like that are actually good unless yeah. you're forced to use it. Yeah. Uh, CML is dead here. Very nice to see you. Yeah, Veno will just come and pay homage to uh, whatever that Veno likes. And Undyne is gonna actually pay with his life because he glimpsed a bit too early and that's gonna allow the insanity to show up in time. But look at the egg and look at Lewis jumping into all of the AoE damage. The pop just disappears. He was confident because he had a region, but region no more as butterfly effect and Ulu are chasing. The Doom is gonna come in and that will be it. The end for the void. The insanity gets taken out, and that is gonna be two cores. For goodness sake, like he he's screaming, "Oh no, I'm gonna come in and fight!" Uh, Undyne, though, um, he might not have the luxury as he tries to turn around, but he doesn't have a kinetic deal to keep them inside. And uh, CML uh, will try to get the kill on Undyne, but the Sundry will actually protect the disruptor enough. Uh, as I say that, he will get enough. Is the poison thing gonna kill him? Why is this thing gonna kill him? Oh no, it's not. He's okay. And uh, Troll mid loses Aegis of Immortality. That's why we needed the Aegis. That's why we needed it. Uh, the Chronosphere is still available. The Void is gonna jump in and gonna pop the Chrono, and now we have enough damage. Yes, we do. Dragon Form available. Puck coming in with a bit of extra, and even the. Able to do stuff. Smoke will hit Shanks. One of these heroes that you don't really want to be going on because he's got a, the Shadow Realm. Oh, okay, the turnaround in. The Static Storm gonna come in. The Xanity does not have a Chrono. Actually, time locks to the, the uh, low ground and the Puck will die to the Doom. And look at Ulu just popping out the Battle Trance. But this is the counter you talked about. Is the Terrorize, the Terrorblade. The, the Troll is actually gonna be punished. Oh my goodness, and now Butterfly Effect really wants to trade his life. Puck will fall, so will the, the Dark Willow, but the Void is still safe. Can we get anything else? Chrono on cooldown for another 10 seconds. Feeling south coming in, and now turns around. Burst damage onto CML. In the back line, Tino's jumping onto 999, and the Phoenix Egg will be invested. Maybe a bit of an overcommit. 
Um, but he really wants to be self safe. But look at the insanity positioning onto the high ground. Gonna come in Chronosphere outside of the tier two. But 999 is there to deal the damage. And the Dragonite is actually dying to the Sunbreak. Right back from the Dark Willow. The insanity will actually get the kill. It's gonna be a triple for the Timber Saw. Butterfly effect. Can you kill him? Do you have a stun? You have a Yule Scepter. Keep him in the air. Lewis joining in. Coil available. And I think the Timber Saw will actually get slain. But it's gonna take a few more seconds. Uh, yeah, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It, can you die, please? Thank you. <laughs> Makes sense. I'll smoke uh, up punch uh, against uh, the Timber Saw. Butterfly Fang has a new scepter. It's gonna help him dispel a lot of those walks, but now another silence is to work it from the Dino's Dragonite before it's gonna come into the high ground and look at the break terrorize. The Phoenix will pop, and so will the Timber. So who was trying to get a kill in the back line, but look at the team jumping in, life and death, and that's the team bringer, and the Chrono comes in at the very last moment. Look at the position from the Iron Line. The Dragon Knight might die here, but not before he gets the kill onto the uh, carry troll and insanity starts bashing away. He's level 18. He's gonna get another double kill. And that I mean, they're taking this weird fight, but there was a vision advantage for execration that, that time around, and uh, CML might pay this for this one with his life. Holy smoke. Happy at this point. CML was involved in a lot of kills so i think the gold will be fine um support for support He's gonna actually allow butterfly effect to get something back for himself as uh, he was also punished in that previous team fight we're spoiled nine so. nine nine we need to get him on the front and they need to do it now before the void jumps in and butterfly effect actually makes the play enough space it's gonna be enough they're gonna get the ages and the roshan kill but everybody in the back line is gonna be a fuck making space the double dkb on the dk and the void still gonna commit on to the faceless void and now Ages, the egg, separation and team fight, glimmer on the void. Can they actually commit into anyone? Beautiful glimpse, by the way, from this dropper before he dies and gets the void back and the second kill. And Uru goes to work with a triple kill for himself. It's a three for three, as now, you know, still alive in the front line. Can he get anything in exchange? They want to get the kill on the Phoenix and they will succeed. That Lewis is doing a lot of big work, but the cheese will get popped. And now life and death will revitalize himself as Lewis will almost probably be able to escape here yeah I, I like the i mean I, I don't know what lewis is doing i think he's just playing i'm not sure push. he's got the part like, just like don't okay. break it yeah lewis has the lincoln sphere though and it just blinks away breaks the smoke and now silencing onto the doom has to pop the but no chrono sphere on two three and now lewis will come in with the damage from outside of the chrono sphere corner is gonna fly in and he must have one and one by that coming in with his sanity he's actually getting turned on and look at the bashes look at this rock and it's ulu on the troll warlord just going left right center killing everybody but now he's getting lower and lower in hp and he doesn't have the sustain to survive that and look at Lewis, he's just doing such a good work in the back line, but it's actually Tino collecting a triple kill. And Shanks with a Yule Scepter throwing Timber Saw in the air. And now look at the damage coming in. Not a Yule Scepter, Timber Chain available, but he's actually not going to use it just yet. Silas, Hex not used by Butterfly Effect will come in the very last moment. Timber Chain, okay, goes down towards the tier 2. Lewis though with the magic right clicks from the Witchblade from... Like what? What is this guy doing? Anyway, they're trying to jump in and they're gonna use the Doom onto the DK, but now the Yule Scepter and now you might have just wasted your Doom. You need a catch, we need a vision. The Phoenix is actually coming in from the high ground. 999 tries to create the vision, but look at the coin onto two. And now the Silence, we don't have the Static Storm. He's getting silenced, he's getting chased by the Doom target. Now, okay, gotta fully turn around, but look at Lewis again, jumping forward, and he's gonna ride this yet another time to the ground. The insanity has arrived, we need a BKB, and we need to get out of here if you are life of death. And Kev are gonna engage this. They wanna catch them by surprise, maybe trying to catch someone alone, left over by the team, and they're gonna catch a oh. big one. First Doom comes through, this is an Aegis target, and they will blow up the Faceless Void. Now, what can you do? Can you change the- Oh, yes, you can! You've got an AoE Doom, but the fuck? Kev are gonna take this fight. The Void is dying. The Void is dying 100% with the Seasons right now, as we have a nice attempt at a new Scepter to protect him, but he will fall to the overtime damage from the Phoenix Egg that came in perfectly placed outside of the, glide of the Static Storm. But look at this clock. Such an annoying hero, but 
999 is trying to actually make the vision and Inferno Blade will get dodged and another illusory orb. Lewis blinks out. There's a gem on the ground for the disruptor that they kill. Look at Butterfly Effect trying to go in and the buff is going in the back line with Tino's Dragonite. They're killing the Phoenix and now they spot. They just spot back on back. This could be a disaster. Ulu needs to get out or needs to do something to survive. Okay, a kill on Shanks might be good, but he doesn't even have the facilities for that. The Chronosphere onto the both cores that are still alive. And it's gonna be another team wipe with the back of an ultra kill for the DK. Right now, you buy back on three. They want the fourth one. Execration are not happy enough with three. Lewis, how do you keep this puck down? You need a stun, a reliable stun, and that's not something you have. And look at the jump, Tino, in the tier four is going in, and the Phoenix is gone. Now the buyback from the troll will come, but it might just be too late. We have no glimpse connecting to anyone. Look at Lewis next to the fountain, just killing Undyne. That is your disruptor. With the static storm axe, he's gone, and execration and picking him apart. This is this is game. This is I don't game. think butterfly yeah, I effect and. Game. Lulu have what to do, there's still a BKB available and a battle trance, but you need to go back to your base. You're getting chased by the puck. Look at the right clicks coming in. The high five is not going to even commit. But jumping at the fountain, what am I witnessing? Lewis is an absolute menace and Undyne realizes. We're gone. We're sent to the lower bracket as Execration advances on the back of a reverse sweep. Oh my goodness, Execration. I mean, Execration game two. CML Game 3, Lewis.